this is straighter. And before I move on, I just want to say that this uh, this plane has been made from uh, notebook paper, not and not uh, like my other A4 paper that I have in like my Fury video, for example. Um, that's because notebook paper folds uh, really well, and it's made from uh, thinner paper. It's is thinner, and it uh, in some cases it's actually like perfect. You, it's perfect, like the square paper. How I use that is perfect. Uh, that's what I like about this. So, yeah. Anyways, onto the features. It's got two air intakes, two afterburners. And the two vertical stabilizers are very, very, they look very nice. And just overall geometry is very cool. I really like how this plane looks. Um, and it flies pretty well too. Uh, I got some, a video of it flying in the, uh, for the showcase. So yeah, on to the tutorial. So for this tutorial, I've actually uh, used a piece of notebook paper, which is thinner, but I've just cut out this, or I've actually, I tore it out, but it, it's all right, it still works. Um, I will show you how to do that, how to get the exact measurement uh, later in the tutorial. So first you were going to fold in half, then you were going to fold the creased edge along uh, the this edge here. And then you're going to squash it. You're going to flip it over. And then you're going to squash this big spot. And now when you fold this down, you can see that it comes to points right here. But when you're using a nine, nine and a half, wait. No, it's a eight and a half by 11 inch piece of paper. You're gonna have like this small strip right here it's gonna be like that. So you would fold it up and then you would tear it off. And then you get exactly A4 proportions. So now what you're going to do is you're going to flip it over and fold this edge to that edge, just like this. Go flip it over again and then fold these into the center. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take this out and restructure and squash. Then you're going to pedal fold inside, pedal fold the inside or the the trap the released trap paper to just kind of clean it up. I'll make those two folds and then you're gonna open it up and then pedal fold it on the inside. One thing that you can do is you can uh, not pedal fold it and then you can take out the paper at the end of the model and then you can have like a the underside, uh, like the Jason Merrill's F-22 Raptor has something like that. It's just not the, not the exact same. So now you're gonna fold these up to this edge, simply like that. And now I'm going to flip this over. I'm gonna use this crease. I'm gonna continue that crease. Like that. And then you're gonna flip this over and crease. Now what you can do is you can 
uh, re reverse this crease right here. Make sure it doesn't uh, it doesn't kink up because you don't want it to kink up. Now what you can do is you can uh, kind of open this up like this, and then you're gonna use this triangle right here, and you're gonna kind of push on it. You're gonna make a crease like right here. It goes all the way across, and then you're just gonna pinch it and then push it up, and then it should reverse the crease for you. Now what you can do is you can fold this up just to make sure that everything is lined up. Because if you fold this up, it should hit this edge. This point should hit this edge right here. So I need to push this in just a little bit more. There, as you can see, that's perfect. And now you can do that on this side. Now you're going to make the air intakes by folding this out. And then you can inside reverse fold that. Now what you can do is you can fold this in. Oh, also one thing I noticed is that I bet you could put these air intakes on Fury by, um, and you wanna make sure this comes to a point. You want you can put these air intakes on Fury. I've never tried it, but if you use the same way uh, to lock the missile racks to the wings, uh, on Fury Alpha and Fury Omega, you can technically uh, use this flap to make air intakes, kind of like this. Uh, so just some useless information that you can use if you want. It's nothing too important, it's just air intakes is all. But yeah, oh, one more thing I forgot to mention is that you kind of want to make sure that these air intakes, the, the edge of the air intakes, it hits this point right here, as I said earlier, but it also should 
uh, hit the edge should hit uh, this the, the point where the fuselage meets the wing it's just a good reference it's not necessary you have to follow it but it is a good reference There we go. All right, now what you can do is you can mount and fold this inside like that. Now you can fold this up and fold these along the crease you just made, or you can crease it along the crease you just made. Just cre fold them out as far as they can go along this edge. You're going to unfold them and then crease them to the crease you just made, or yeah, fold the edge to the crease you just made. Now what you can do is you can flip it over and fold this back down because you're not going to need it. You're going to open up this and then you're just going to kind of grab it and then pull it to pull it outwards and use the pre-existing creases. You're going to make one new crease right here. This crease is going to be new, but that's all that's new. Everything else is there for you. You want to make sure that this point right here is on this crease. It's very important. Otherwise, it's it's not going to work properly. It's uh, the future creases aren't going to work properly. You can do that to this side too. I'm just going to flip it over and do it. Now you can fold these up. And for now, I'm just gonna work on one, one side and I'll get to the other side in a little bit. If I can get this up, that is. You wanna make sure it, it comes to a point right here. That's pretty important. But now you can fold this up and before you fold it, before you make your crease, you want to just, all that you want to do is make a crease from this, this uh, point intersection right here and outward. That's all you want to do. And you can do that on this side too. Now you can fold this up. Also, one thing I uh, am going to try to do someday is I'm going to try to inside reverse fold this and then see if I can do something like that. I bet that would make something pretty cool, but that's not my main focus right now. It's making Strider. But now what you're gonna do is you're gonna swivel this upwards so that this crease lands on that point.
Now you can fold this along the edge, along this edge. And then you can swivel this down. Now you can unfold that and crease or squash fold this down. Like that. Um, I'm pretty sure that actually never mind. I don't think it's that important. Not not for this plane at least. But now what you're gonna do is you're gonna uh, swivel fold that back down. And now you're gonna make a crease. You're gonna fold this up so that it hits this point <clears throat> and this edge hits that small corner right there. Like that. It should be uh, perpendicular to the uh, fuselage. I don't know why it's not really working for me. I'm trying to put that down just a little bit more. I mean, like, if you don't get this first try, it can get a little bit difficult, but I mean, like, it's not as, it's not super difficult for most people like me and like good orgonists. But yeah, you're just gonna you're just gonna swivel this down so that this the part that you're swiveling this little small point uh, edge is along this edge. So basically, it should be ninety degrees right here. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna open this up just a little bit. You know, open that, and then you're gonna crease that on the inside. You're gonna crease that first, and then this, and then that. So you have that. And now, in order to make the fins, uh, we don't want this little edge right here. So I'm I'm gonna get rid of that by folding it along itself, like that. and then swivel folding so that this part should be parallel or maybe um, like caving in just a little bit towards the point right there but it should be parallel like kind of like this and uh, we don't want we don't want this small edge to be there either so we're gonna do another swivel fold you know what you're gonna do first is you're gonna fold it uh, along the edge like this first and unfold it and fold it back again now what you can do and fold this down and you can make sure that's a point that's kind of important and 
Now you can fold this up so that it's perpendicular to this edge, the fuselage edge. And you really want that to be perpendicular, like as perpendicular as possible. And then you're gonna fold it back along itself. So, like that. And then you're going to take out this layer. I'm gonna release that trap of paper that used to be inside of that small pocket, but now it's not. And now what's next is to open this up just a little bit. And then you're gonna fold it over one third of the way. Like normally it's one half, but because this fin is smaller, it's gonna be one third. And you really wanna make sure that it hits the point in all the way inside of there. That's pretty important. And then you're just gonna kind of crease, just kind of smush that down. And then you're gonna just push it down as far as it will go. I'm gonna release the chop paper and push it down. Like that. You do want a little bit of space, like um, so that your fins can look better. Now you can fold this up and you're gonna inside reverse fold the top down like this. You're just gonna not you're just gonna valley fold it right now and then you're gonna inside reverse fold it. So it's like this. But yeah, you're just gonna inside reverse fold it like this. It's better if you have tweezers, but I don't know where my tweezers are. But yeah, you're just gonna inside reverse fold that, like that. So, now that's your vertical stabilizer. Now what's next uh, is you can do that on that side.
So now, one thing I forgot to do was you want to fold this in half. Uh, just to reinforce the fin, but it works really well. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to take this uh, random edge right here and you're going to fold it up. Uh, it should, and I'm not quite sure why there... Okay, now I'm really confused. Because there should be a crease, like right here. In the middle of it. But it's like, not really there. But yeah, you should have a crease there. I don't know why I don't. But you're gonna just f crease that up. You're gonna just, and then you can fold this down and fold it in half again. Uh, yeah, you can see on this side it has a crease, but yeah, you're just going to fold to that crease. Um, like right here. Now, just swivel that up. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to fold all of this up. And now you're gonna, uh, one thing I, for, I forgot, but like I cut it so, so that it's in the right spot is you want to fold this edge just to that crease. You don't really want to unfold too much. Otherwise it gets kind of hard to refold, but you just want to increase that behind. You want to mount and fold it. Now you can fold this edge like that, and you can do that to this side too. I want to make sure that this comes to a point. And now for the jet fold, I'm going to just kind of do that. Now you can open this up 
fold this up fold it to the crease you just made and use that crease and then fold it up on one last time to lock it so that it doesn't open up So, yeah, you're almost done. Now all you have to do is get a pencil. Wow, would you look at that? I found a pencil. Uh, that totally didn't take like five minutes for me to find. So you're just going to poke the afterburners like this. And then you can do the rest with your fingers. stupid graphite um so yeah And now you can open up these air intakes. One thing I like to do is I like to kind of open them up like this and kind of like go like that. And that's that. One thing I like to do is I like to kind of separate these layers just a tiny bit so that it creates less of a hump when, like a lump. It, as you can see, it, like, it's rising up a little bit. So I just kind of pull this out just a tiny bit. That was too much. So I, I pull it out just a little bit so that it creates less of a, so that it creates less drag. Oh, that's not good. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to do that on that side too. Oh, it didn't, that didn't really work. There you go. Now that you have your your plane pretty much almost done, all you have to do now is just make sure everything is straight. Um, you want the stabilizer, stabilizers, uh, vertical that, or you can do it like this, but I'm not a big fan of that. I like, I like a vertical better because they're kind of far apart. So you can, you can do them the diagonal or diagonally or vertically. And then the last thing you want to do is you want to bend up the back edges just a little bit like this
And that is Strider. Good luck flying.